Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to Synthetic Oil Protection. My name's Eben, and today we're gonna to be going over a lot of very interesting information, so be sure to subscribe so you can come back and watch it later. Today's video is about a very important number, and every car has a different number, and that is the SAE number, the 0W20. And today we're gonna to be talking about all the aspects of it. So for the first thing we're gonna talk about is what does SAE mean? And what it means is it means Society of Automotive Engineers. And what that is, is that is basically a uh, standard and a company that measures motor oil. And that started it back in 1905. So this specific test, which is the 0W20, is called the J300 test. And all motor oils are tested like that. The multi-grade oil test, the J300, originated in 1911. So now you guys know about the test, about the company that started the test. Now let's talk about what do the numbers mean. The first number, the 0W, is the viscosity of the oil at 0 degrees Fahrenheit, which is the same as negative 17.7 degrees Celsius. And that's the viscosity of the motor oil at that temperature, which is the winter weight viscosity. So this is a multi-grade oil and it has two different viscosity tests. One when it's cold and one when the oil's at operating temperature. We're gonna talk about the operating temperature number, which is the 20. And this is a very common viscosity that most economy cars take because it's a do-all, do-all purpose oil. So the zero W keeps you protected down to negative 63 degrees Fahrenheit. So this will actually pour right out of the bottle at negative 63 degrees Fahrenheit, believe it or not. Talk about the operating temperature number, which this number, the, the 20, is measured at 212 degrees Fahrenheit, which is equivalent to 100 degrees Celsius. So those are both the same temperature, just a different unit of measure. So you're gonna ask the question, most people ask, what is the difference and why do different cars take different viscosities? And the reason uh, different cars take different viscosities is because the tolerances inside the engine are a little bit different. The oil pump that physically pumps the oil is different. And then also the application of the car. So for instance, a Corvette is oftentimes driven under uh, very high heat it's driven aggressively and the oil temperature can rise very easy. So you can start driving a car lightly and it might be 200 degree oil. And before you know it, you start driving on the track very hard and you get up to 250 degrees. Well, an oil that would keep you protected on a Corvette would be a zero W40. And the new uh, Stingray Corvette, the new update on the technical bulletin is now a uh, zero W40. So this keeps you protected at uh, negative 10 degrees Fahrenheit. You can start your car up if you live in Detroit. You won't have any circulation issues. And then if you do uh, short track days, you'll be completely fine with the 40 weight. And you know you might ask the question, could you run a thinner oil in a Corvette? And you sure could. The only thing is the oil pump is designed to pump a, th a certain thickness motor oil at a certain temperature. So if you would drive a Corvette on a track and you would run a 0W20, what you'd usually see is you could lose oil pressure. And if you lose oil pressure, that means you're not circulating as much oil as you should be. And then another thing that could come into play is oil shear. So when you have a very hot piece of metal and this oil is on the metal, the hotter this metal is, the easier the oil will fling off the metal. And if the oil flings off and it becomes metal on metal, you would then have oil shearing. And oil shearing is when the oil disperses and basically you become metal on metal. And then the heat rises much faster. You can have wear metallic in the oil and you can also damage your engine. So also too, I wanted to do a little shout out to my brother Javier. He reached out to me, left a comment, and he said, even why don't you do a video about the viscosities? So, hence the video today. But I wanted to talk about uh, government requirements 
and fuel savings. So a lot of these uh, thinner oils, being the Zero W20, are a lot of government compliance, and that compliance basically meets and exceeds uh, fuel efficiency and uh, also uh, the burn off of the oil. The other thing I wanted to mention was transmission fluid. So just like we're getting thinner with the motor oil, which Toyota now has a Zero W16, and AMS oil is actually uh, getting ready to release their Zero W16, and that will be 100% synthetic. Uh, so that's definitely something to check out. So I wanted to talk about transmission fluid. So this is a regular automatic transmission fluid, and this is 100% synthetic, and it meets all those technical spec. And this is a fuel efficient ATF. So this is what most of the modern cars take in their automatic transmission, is a fuel efficient automatic transmission fluid. And it's much thinner. And it actually flows better at cooler temperatures. So you get a quicker shift. Uh, the shifts are more positive and you have a lot better feel. And the good thing is about the 100% synthetic transmission fluid is you can double the severe service interval of the fluid. So if you would drive on a Ford pickup truck F-150, you would do 60,000 miles of severe service on the transmission. If that's what the manufacturer recommends, you could double that with this uh, fluid. So you could do 120,000 of severe service. Now I'm gonna go down a list of vehicles that take different viscosity oils so you can get an idea. So the 10W60, this is a M uh, oil for a lot of M5s, M3s, there's a real uh, high heat uh, Z car that takes this uh, very thick oil. And the reason it takes that oil is because a lot of those cars are oftentimes on the track. And when you use an oil quality that's not quite as good, it has a higher ability to shear and break down. So the difference between AMS oil and something like a Castrol product like this is when it actually gets hot, they measure the viscosity, like I mentioned, uh, this viscosity at 212 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 100 degrees Celsius. And this is a 60 weight at that temperature. However, there is an exponential thinning uh, of the oil as it gets hotter. So if you measure the weight of this oil at uh, 250 degrees, and you measure the, the thickness of the oil of this at 250 degrees, what you'll see is a higher quality, 100% synthetic oil is not going to thin out as quick once you get over that 212 degrees. And oxidation and breakdown of oil actually is an exponential relationship. So what that means is for, I believe, every 13 degrees hotter a motor oil consistently runs, its oil life is cut in half. So if you run your car, and let's just say on a Mercedes SL500, it runs this motor oil, this is the Mercedes oil, and this meets and exceeds all the, the spec. And this oil's ran at, uh, say, 230 degrees on average. This oil's gonna wear out a lot faster than on my Corvette, is my Corvette motor oil runs at about 210 to 200 degrees. So that 15 to 20 degree difference really ages the oil much faster. And that kind of sheds a little bit of light onto the quality of the AMS oil product because this European blend is actually good for one year or 10,000 miles in a Mercedes. So this actually exceeds the specifications for Mercedes. Uh, and it actually, you can do the full, the drain interval of that uh, one year or 10,000 miles. So now we're going to talk about why some oils have a very high W number. Oftentimes you'll see a 10W or even a 20W. Well, a lot of the times what that is, is that is for classic cars and different cars that are driven in very hot temperatures. So if you have, let's just say an older car and the gaskets aren't the best. Well, if you run a very thin oil, like a zero weight, that can leak much easier from the gaskets than a higher, like a 10W oil. So you'll see on a lot of classic cars, like this older Corvette over here, that oil is a 10W30, and that 10 weight doesn't allow it to leak as easy when the oil is at uh, resting uh, winter temperature, which is cool. 
So that's another element. You'll see a lot of older cars, like some older Fords, they actually take a 20W50, which is like a motorcycle oil, and that won't leak as easy because there's a lot of older cars that are known to leak oil easy. So if you had an older car, you'd want to run a little bit thicker W weight oil. So the chance of it leaking is much harder to leak. All right, to wrap it all up, if you guys have any questions about any of this stuff, feel free to reach out to me. Also in the description below, I have my link that is a preferred customer link. And I wanted to thank all my preferred customers I've gotten about 30 preferred customers off YouTube so far. And when you click on that link, that gives me a very small commission. And then you can order all the Emsoil products at 25% off. You also get complimentary shipping. And then you also get a quarterly Emsoil magazine, which talks about all different technical updates on motors and requirements uh, by the SAE. When you got three objects, you just gotta do it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. We'll see you guys back. And be sure to subscribe so you can watch this information later. And also, remember, this right here is about protection, protection, protection. All right.